Hi guys! So today's video is all about color correcting. Color correcting is really beneficial as it helps in reducing the redness, the scars, etc. on your face and the most popular color correctors or the most popular colors in color correcting are orange or peach, green, lavender, purple or whatever you would like to call that shade and yellow. So here we have the color wheel and I'm quickly going to tell you guys as to how to kind of figure out how to use the color wheel and what color helps in correcting what problem. As you can see on the wheel, opposite to the color peach is purple and blue. So every color that is opposite to the other color is what the problem is. So orange or peach is opposite to blue so that basically helps in concealing your dark circles or kind of diminishing scars, acne scars, blemishes, etc. Next, green as you can see is opposite to red. So green definitely helps in reducing redness on your face. The next color is lilac, purple or lavender, whatever you would like to call it. And that color basically helps in correcting any gray areas on your skin. So anything that is uneven pigmentation and things like that, that is what the lilac or the lavender color helps in correcting. The last one is yellow and yellow definitely helps in brightening your skin. So as most of you know, you do use the banana powder, which kind of helps in brightening under your eyes and wherever you want to highlight. So basically that is what yellow does. So these are basically the four major color correctors that we have, the four major colors. So now without any further ado, let's get into the video and I will show you how I color correct. This is basically my way of color correcting. I used to do it a different way before and I did not like color correcting at all because I it just was not right for me but this method that I found out recently has helped me a lot and I definitely color correct more now so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and as usual do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more if you've liked it now let's get into the video <laughs> So I have moisturized and primed my face which is really important before you start color correcting and as you can see I do have a lot of spots so I will slightly be applying some orange concealer mixed with some peach concealer. It completely depends on your skin tone. If you have dark skin tone or olive skin tone like me, orange or peach would work. So if you have light skin tone then peach would work. Also for your under eyes. Generally, people with olive skin tone would prefer using a peach toned corrector, but I have really dark under eyes, so I would be using an orange corrector. So, let's start correcting. This is the orange corrector by NYX. This is the peach corrector by NYX. I have both. And I do have the orange concealer by LA Girl as well, but I will be using NYX today. For me, fingers work really well to color correct because I can buff the product in and that way it does not spread around. So I will be using my fingers today. So as you can see, a little goes a long way. Do not apply a lot of product because remember, you do have a coat of foundation on top of this as well as concealer. So if you apply a lot of color corrector, that would make your skin look really cakey and bad and we don't want that. So apply very little, the tiniest amount. Orange is basically for um, under your eyes and also blemishes, but I will be applying it later on my blemishes. And another thing is I personally do not use the lavender color a lot it is basically for gray areas on your skin and as you can see i do not have much so i do not use the lavender or purple corrector but if you guys do have any sallow areas which is kind of gray tones on your skin gray tones on your skin so if you have that then do use a lavender to color correct it the next shade we have is green and green is basically for redness i actually do not have a lot of redness on my skin except for around my nose and a few areas here so I will just be applying it there. So again I'm applying this with my fingers because I just feel they do a better job at color correcting. So I'm just going to take a little dab the excess on my hand and now I'm going to take the 
peachy toned uh, corrector and just apply it on my spots. So now we're going to apply foundation and while applying foundation, please remember not to use a brush and kind of swirl it around because that way the product spreads all over your face and the purpose of color correcting is lost. Always remember to bounce the brush on your skin that way the product kind of settles in wherever it is placed. So do not run your brush over your face, just kind of like bounce your brush. I will be using a beauty blender today so I will show you how to kind of bounce the blender and set everything. So I'm taking my beauty blender just taking a little foundation and just kind of bouncing that blender on my skin with the foundation. So I have applied one coat of foundation right now and you can see how much of a difference it makes. The concealer I will be using is by Wet n Wild. It is their Come Correct Concealer, which is in the shade Medium Beige. And I will be highlighting as well as concealing with this product. As you see, I do have like one big pimple here, which even after concealing or applying the peach concealer is kind of popping out. So such pimples, what you do is while applying your, or while setting your face with a powder, just see to it that you bounce your brush continuously on that. That way the appearance kind of reduces. Tip. So now I've applied the concealer and also highlighted with it. I just highlighted on my forehead, the nose, you know, the cupid's bar, the chin and under my eyes. And it is now ready to be set. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face, complete my makeup and then come back to show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. This is how my face looks after all my makeup is done. So as I told you in the beginning of the video, what I used to do before was I used to apply a lot of product and then try to blend it in my skin. And that way I had like three, four layers on my skin and I hated how my skin looked when I applied foundation because of the thick color correcting uh, coat that I had on my skin. But since I started using less product and buffed it into my skin, I'm really enjoying color correcting. I hope you guys enjoyed this routine and do share your color correcting routines in the comments below. I would love to know how it is different from mine. And apart from that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.